Hi everybody, welcome back to Brails for Family Homestead. I'm Darcy. Today we're going to make lime extract. This is an easy one. I have been making limeade and so I've been wanting to make use of the zest. You can put it in the freezer, but I thought, what can I make? And I was like, oh, why haven't I made lime extract? So we're going to do that today. You can either peel them with a peeler or use a zester. Uh, a microplane to zest them is going to be much easier because you don't want any of that white pith in this at all. I would also highly suggest that you get organic limes just because of the things that are on there and we're going to be utilizing the skin where if there's anything on there you don't want, it's there. I did wash these uh, in warm water with a scrubby and I even washed them with some vinegar but these are organic and then I have uh, this, this is what I've used some for some other extracts, kettle one. So you can use, you know, any vodka, um, and then you're gonna need a mason jar, and that's it. So let's get these zested and into the jar. I am going to wear gloves just because of the acidity might sting, plus I have a little bit of a, a wound on my thumb, so I don't want that in there. It would definitely burn. <laughs> So it might be a good idea, especially if you're going to zest a lot of them. So I have a piece of parchment paper here, just because it's gonna be a lot of little pieces they could go all over. That will help me to just pick this up and dump it right into my jar. So we're just going to lightly zest that because you don't want to get the white pith. So don't go too hard, don't go too crazy. It's also gonna depend on your limes, how thick that skin is. So just be gentle with that. There's not um, like a real set amount for the recipes. I mean, I've seen everything from, you know, two to 20, but it all is just going to depend on your jar. And because we will redo it if, or not redo it, <laughs> we'll add to it if we decide that it's not limey enough. I'm just going to do a couple here and then cover it with my vodka. You could use any size jar you want. I just didn't think I really needed any more extract than this, this uh, jar will hold. And I am going to use this lime afterwards because I'm going to be making some lime aid. So this is what it's gonna look like with the microplaner. I'm gonna go ahead and zest a few more. Here we go. That is the zest from four limes. I'm going to start with that for this size of the jar. I'm going to get a knife or something and scrape that off here. Mmm, it smells so good. I don't want to waste any of this zest. So maybe this bench scraper is my best option. Mmm, mmm. Oh, it smells so good. Do you guys like the smell of citrus? I definitely do, and I have just really preferred lime now recently for some reason. I love it. All right. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Whoopsie, <laughs> put that lid on good. That was easy peasy. I'll bring you back. We're gonna let this sit for four weeks and then we'll taste test it and see if we want to add more zest or not. And whenever I walk by, I'll give it a shake. If I think about it, I'll show you how the color changes over that four weeks. If not, you'll see it after four weeks. See you soon. It has not been four weeks, it's been a few minutes. I went ahead and zested five more limes. I decided to do that so if we add more in four weeks, I'll already have it since I had things dirty. If I end up not needing it, I'll just use it in some recipes. 
the first thing I really want to try this extract in is some goat's milk ice cream. That sounds so delicious. What kind of things do you think you would use it in? I'll see you back in a few moments, four weeks for me. It's been one month. You can see the zest has lost pretty much all its color by now. Before we strain it, we're gonna go ahead and give it a little taste to test to see if we're gonna add more. Ooh. It smells really lime. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I took the, the lid off and I really smelled that lime. So I have my little glass here with a little bit of sugar. And I put that in there. Maybe we'll let that sit for a minute and, uh, oh, I just made a big mess. <laughs> There's a bunch of it on the counter, that's okay. I'm going to just strain it through this first and then if it's done, I'll put it through a coffee filter or something to make sure I get all the little pieces out. see that a little bit better. I think that that looks true to color on the camera. It's, I mean, obviously still has a little bit of green, but it's definitely not that vibrant green color. All right, do you think it's mingled enough in there? Let me give it another stir and try not to make a big mess. I am, I'm making another mess. I think I put too much milk in here, so. I'm not getting a lot of lime flavor, though it did smell very strongly of lime. I think we're gonna go ahead and put in that lime zest that I froze, so let me grab that real quick. Got my frozen lime zest. I already know that it's the right amount. I'm gonna knock it out of there. You wanna see me do this? See if I make another mess. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for one more month. I will bring you back to do another taste test and see what we think. Make sure I take this label off and put it on here. Well, actually, I'm going to need a new one, aren't I? Or at least a new date. All right. See you guys back in another month. It's been another four weeks, so let's give this a sniff test and a taste test. It definitely has a, a citrus smell to it. Obviously the alcohol has not evaporated, but I'm actually surprised that uh, it's not just like overpowering alcohol smell. So let me bring you down here. I'm just going to strain it through this. If there's a bunch of small sediment, I'm gonna use that coffee filter for a second uh, straining. Oh. Well, there I made a mess. <laughs> I will get the rest of that out with a spoon here in a minute. Yep, I'm gonna have to do that again. There's some sediment in there and I would like it to be nice and clear. I don't want it to be bitter. So let me get that set up. You can use whatever straining setup works for you. I have this little small strainer, a coffee filter inside this funnel just because I don't want the, the weight to make that break. This will take quite some time to go all the way through here. There's just a, I think, well, you can see it in here. There's still some, some peel and some sediment and I want this to just be completely pure. So let's give this a taste test while we're waiting for this. For the taste test, I just use a shot glass. I put a pinch of sugar in there and some milk plus a little bit of the extract. So let's give it a try. 
Mm, that's much better than four weeks ago. I mean, now, now that's not something like a drink I'm going to make <laughs> and drink this, but that is good. It has a nice lemon, uh, lime flavor. I think I'll call that done. Now, I don't know that I could use just that and have something taste like lime without adding additional zest or juice or something. But I don't know that if that's like the purpose. Like, you know, when you have a lime dessert and it's, it's super lime <laughs> tasting, I don't think this extract would do that. But it would add a very nice lime flavor. I don't think you're... I don't think the purpose of it would be to make it taste like key lime pie, like pow, without using any lime juice or lime zest. So as you can see, I'll show you here, it's not done, but that is very nice and clear. There is no sediment, no cloudiness. This will keep in your pantry indefinitely. Store it in whatever way works best for you. For me, I like mason jars because I like to be able to dip my spoon in and get as much extract as I need for my recipe, but you do want to keep it away from light. So you can put it in a dark bottle, whatever, keep it in a pantry, it will not go bad. So if it takes you some time to go through all this and you don't have somebody to share it with, no problem, it will, it will keep. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Um, and some goat milk products. It might, all my goats have kitted, and so it is now milking time. I really want to try uh, it in some yogurt and in some ice cream. If you have some ideas of what you would try it in or something you want to see me try it in, leave it in the comments below. I appreciate you coming along. I hope you give this extract a try. Check out some of my other extracting videos here. Until next time, God bless.